Hey there everyone, my name is Matt from Obsessed Garage. Uh, this is a, an old school video. Just me and the camera in my garage and uh, almost lit. Uh, so I'm in the process. Uh, this uh, this is, reminds me of the old days. Uh, you just chip away at projects, chip away at uh, putting things, getting your house set up. I moved into this house in uh, February of this year. Uh, the garage has been on hold. I actually had it set up and then tore it all apart. A long story on that, but uh, waiting on my cabinets to arrive. I've got a white list of cabinets coming here. Uh, but this is something that needs to go on the exterior of the house. Uh, this is old school because uh, this is one of the very first products. If you go back to oldest videos, uh, I think that uh, one of the first videos, maybe, maybe it was like the sixth or seventh video was sharing my $500 hose reel, my Ely hose reel and my, what was a uh, Adams hose at the time. I think the Adams hose was like 250 bucks or something crazy like that. Uh, and I, the way I had set up the, 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 the house was to, uh, I washed, the way they set up my wash process was to wash the wheels and uh, with, a, with a garden hose because we didn't have short guns on the pressure washer. So this was um, a product that, that I discovered uh, probably about 10 years ago, something like that. And uh, this is what it looks like assembled. We're gonna go install it on the outside of the house. Uh, but I figured since I have two of them, I'd show you kind of how to put this thing together and get a little nostalgic on you talking about the old days of, uh, of Obsessed Garage and it goes back to the brown house and the F80 M3 and yeah, it goes way back. I had I'd already had this hose reel for about you know, probably two years or so uh, prior to, yeah, let's see, I bought that house in 2010. I started making videos in 2014. So I, I think I'd bought that hose, uh, the, the, my original Ely hose reel was probably like 2012, something like that. Um, so this was you know, 10 years ago plus. And I would love to sell these. This is partly my ploy to the Ely family. Allow me to sell this sucker. Um, but we're gonna put two of these on the house. Uh, one on the front side, right next to the garage here, just for whatever we need it for, water and plants, stuff like that. Same thing in the back. The back would be mainly for the pool deck uh, and uh, water and plants. So, uh, Michelle's always doing that kind of stuff. And we have this crappy hose that was like left here. It's a Home Depot hose for sure. And so we have this crappy hose, it's all kinked up. It's like, don't open it that way. I've gotten pretty lax in my old age. <laughs> I've uh, found that this sharing experiment has made my purchases matter less to me. Um, so maybe I'm, I've, I've been able to live a little less perfectionistic, if you will. A little bit more relaxed. But I'm still pursuing, I'm still chasing, chasing you know, perfect, just not with as much uh, angst and uh, not as much need around it. More, it's more, I would like to do this. It's not that I need to do this, I would just really like to. So this is the inlet hose. These hoses are great. So these are poly hoses. They have the best termination in the game. Uh, the termination is a little bulky, uh, but the, the terminal couplings that they use on their hoses are amazing. And uh, the, these were the original inlet hoses that we'd done. And we'll, I'll share with you as we kind of work through this on why I prefer a different hose for the main hose reel. You could certainly buy the Ely poly hose if you wanted to. Uh, I just don't, I like this, this Continental hose much, much more. So back in the day, I had sourced a three quarter inch Continental hose because I figured a three quarter inch hose would flow better until I eventually realized that we don't need extra flow. Um, and it really doesn't give you an extra flow of a five inch hose is plenty. Um, but we'll get into that as we work through this. Okay, so here's the base. They do give you a little tool set here. So, I give you this Allen key. 
you could go get your own out of the cabinet, but so this, there's nothing special about this. But we're gonna mount this in the horizontal configuration. So we take these bolts out. Sorry, I'm, uh, we're not super well lit in here yet, about to be. These bolts have a little anti-seize on them. Of course, we're gonna get that everywhere. But you take these out. By the way, I'm not this sharp. I just put the other one together a couple of days ago. So I, but I did have to consult the instructions on configuration. So Ely, this is a family owned company. In uh, 2015, I believe it was, they pulled all of their sales back to sell direct on their site. So the only place, if you think you're buying an Ely hose somewhere else, you're not getting an authentic version. I don't know of any counterfeits, but there's only one place to buy these and it's on Ely.com. You have to go to their site, call their 800 number or just order, order direct. They, uh, they pulled all outside sales. Now they never let me sell the hose reel, but they did let me sell the the inlet hoses because at the time they were the only ones making a six and a half inch or six and a half foot or any kind of whip hose they were the only ones producing that so that's our horizontal configuration so mean which means that the hose with the reel is going to mount you know sideways on this i got this freaking everywhere so let's see 2012 let's just say that's when i bought this Let's see, 2012, Ryan was two. I'd become the resident director of a Merrill Lynch office. I think I was probably making, in 2012, I probably made like 120 grand or something like that. And uh, so, I, and I just bought, but I was on my way to like two or 300. So, so I was on my way to it. But I'd bought a house. The house was uh, was that brown house. I think the house was like, yeah, the house I paid 400 grand for the house. Um, really nice house, D DCS cooktop, um, a really nice kitchen age fridge and stuff like that. So it was it was a nice setup, a nice nice house on the little mini lake that it was on. And uh, and so this, when I bought this, was a stretch. You know, it wasn't going to break me, but this was a this was an expensive purchase, and um, but I really valued it. You know, I valued my garden hose and valued my ability to wash my car. I valued the experience. And when I first started doing this, I'd gotten a Krenzla maybe six months after this, but my 11, my first 11.22. But this um, this experience of of washing cars was very important to me. This is back when I was washing my bare feet. I was 210 pounds, not 250 pounds, 245 pounds, 35, depending on what day you talk to me. Um, my hairline hadn't receded yet. So the, uh, the, the washing experience was really important to me. So I was using a Gilmore Foam Master and I was foaming the car. I was using the, the, this, this Ely, this might, one of these two is one of the originals from 2012. This Ely garden hose, uh, I don't know if it's gonna work. This one feels like it might be, might not be functioning. But, you know, I'd, I'd purchased this, this hose reel and, I, and, I, and I, I'd gotten it and I knew that this hose was no good. And the, so the problem with this hose is that it's grabby. You know, so when you're winding it up, it tends to grab on itself. And I wanted something that was rubber. It also tends to kink a little bit more than I would like. So uh, that's when I found that Adams had been making this hose that I now make. Adams was making a Continental Frontier, very different than the Continental hoses you find at Home Depot and Lowe's. And I, and I so I, I took the flyer, I think it was, again, I think it was like 225 bucks. So it's really, really expensive. 
and uh, so I took the flyer on the hose. You know, this is back when there weren't any videos or anything on anything. You just had to buy it and try it and see if it see if it worked out. And I had done that with tons of different things, buy and try and fail many many times. And and so I bought the hose. First I got the hose reel, then I bought the hose, and then I bought the this, and then that's when I started to get figure out garden hose quick disconnects because I needed a quick disconnect in order to be able to switch from the foam, the foam master to the, to the hose nozzle. So I needed to be able to make that transition. And so doing that required me to figure out how I was gonna do, do the, uh, the quick disconnecting. And the rest is history. Okay, so our hose reel's largely set up. We have these other pieces, we have the drag, uh, but before we do any of this, we gotta go outside and we gotta mount the plate. So we gotta mount this on the wall. Uh, and I think I know where I'm gonna put this. So let me go get set up and then we'll bring the camera out. Okay, so this one, I think I'm gonna put this one up nice and high here. I think I'm gonna put it up like here. That way you can just walk up to it, use it. I'm gonna try to shove it a little further over. The other thing I'd consider is like putting it up here so it's completely out of the way. Kind of hidden next to this other stuff. I think right here makes the most sense. Okay. Let me get some pencil, and a level. I kind of wanted to do like a mystery science theater of, uh, of watching back some of those old videos that I made. I think that'd be kind of fun. And they give you, you can use tap cons on this, but they give you a, uh, like a threaded insert concrete anchor in the box. Show you that in a second. Okay, so that's where we're gonna go. Yeah, is there a yellow jacket's nest in here? All right, should have brought my SDS drill. We're gonna do the regular drill. It's a brand new drill here. Look how pretty that thing is. This is the one, this is the one you want. If you're watching this, we sell these two. Or sell the, I wish I sold the Ely. All right, before I get too far, let me make sure these fit. Yeah, so they give you these little sleeved anchors. Yep, that's the correct size. And these little spacers. So you get this little, this little kit. Drill all the holes. Get out of here. Yellow jackets. By the way, this bit is a 516th, I believe. It's so bright out here. Five sixteenths. This is in Milwaukee. Okay. Get a hammer. Crazy bright out here today. Wow, not a cloud in the sky. So, I'm gonna put this little spacer here. This guy in here like this. And we'll kind of get this thing started.
I don't like these kind of anchors, but it'll do. These spacers are a little tapered. They even give you stainless steel lags in this. It's fancy. half inch. I'll do that by hand. Let's see, might be. Yep, I knew it. Seven sixteenths. Yep. Let's tighten these down. You want this to be nice and solid because this hose reel is smooth as silk. and will last forever. I feel like that's not grabbing. I feel like that sucker's not in. Although, <clears throat> yeah, we're good. Okay, now, Put this thing together. Okay, next step is to put the jumper hose through. Put this through. Yeah, I'm reading the instructions. I'm sure, you can figure it out without them, but let's just do this once. is to put the hose holder on here. Okay, so this guy slides through here, I believe. Yeah, that guy goes like that. So this is the strap that'll hold hold the jumper hose properly so it doesn't kink up. You want to tighten that down until we put the hose through. So I'm gonna back that back off. This guy, this is our stop or our drag. So this goes on like this. Everything has a slot and a spot. And we do this. So, because these have O-rings, you technically don't need tape. Let's pull this excess back through here. Now oh, that's right. Wait, what am I doing wrong here? That's right, the jumper hose goes to there. And then our other hose comes through the strap. Yeah, what am I thinking? Now this is turned. That's why. Okay, then, so if this is all done properly, because these all have O-rings, we shouldn't need tape, shouldn't. And so this guy will sit however, there's some play in it, so it'll sit however it needs. So let me get my garden hose out. So we actually make these hoses ourselves now. So Adam stopped selling them years ago and I found this other weird site that had them. 
some like weird garden supplier. And I eventually found the guy who was making them forever for Adams and this other supplier. And so then I had him make them for me for years and he couldn't keep up with our demand. And so now I bought my own crimpers and we manufacture them ourselves. So my dad and Justin make these at my building a few minutes from here. And they're absolutely amazing. So the three quarter inch hose, there's no point to it. We now only do, I only do a, uh, this 5 8 inch hose. Sorry, I'm in your way here, give me a second. The three quarter doesn't help, help with flow, you know, garden hose pressure, and just weighs more. Yeah, this only goes on one way. Uh oh, that sounds like a GT3. All right, so that's what it looks like. So on a garden hose fitting, we were gonna go tight. I'm gonna grab some channel locks. We'll go a little bit tight, but not super tight. You wanna go hand tight. You don't wanna crush the O-ring to the point where then water can squirt out the side. But I'll come back in a few. Okay, just bought a GT3 RS, so I got all the sidetrack there. We'll talk about that later. So just hand tighten this. We're gonna tighten the screw down now that we have a nice little radius here. Screwdriver in my pocket. I'll move this over to the side so I don't get in the way. And then we're gonna wrap our hose on it. So this tightens down, so pull this nice and smoothly in place. good there and then we have our drag and we tighten this down Just to make sure everything is in place <clears throat> gotta take this backflow junk off of that thing and tap that out and take the backflow converter or something it doesn't seem to be sitting quite right here. <clears throat> now, I'm gonna wind my hose up. And we'll take the backflow off. It's a really crappy hose bib. So if you're new to this idea, the channel, like let's be smart about this here. Wrap it up nicely. You bought yourself a nice fancy hose, nice fancy hose reel. Teach your wife and kids how to do this as well. I'm gonna have to uh, unravel this hose old fashioned way. So pull the hose out. And it's a rubber hose. It really doesn't have much of a memory. I try not to uh, do any damaging kinks to it, so don't pull on it too hard. Just unwrap it, twist it, so that it's ready to wind in. I thought I could do it right from the spool, but I can't. And then wrap this sucker up pretty. This hose reel's so good. Because I got a pretty gritty driveway, this hose will never look pretty again. But this holds 100 feet. You can buy an extension for this to do like a 150 foot hose. We can make you a 150 foot hose if you want one. But see, you still have some room to spare with a 5 8 inch hose. And then, I'm gonna take this backload nonsense off of here. You guys are gonna get real mad at me, but oh shoot, I don't have any, I don't have any drill bits here, I don't think. I don't think I can take that off. 
might be leaving that thing on there. Man, that's pretty. You set your drag. Let me put my Ely on here. Let's see if, if it works well with the backflow. Check valve on there, then I'll just leave it alone. Let's see if we got any leaks. I don't think I need to bring some quick disconnects over. And I don't like the Ely quick disconnects. I think they're too bulky. But I can't see why I would need to quick disconnect this setup. So I think I'm just gonna leave it. Let me just take this, tuck it behind here. Actually, I'm gonna bring it back here behind my gas line. This will make it stay in place. Back over here like this. For leaks. Nice. Yeah, I think I can just leave that backflow on there. Uh-oh. Yeah, that's what I was afraid of. This one's broken. I think this has a lifetime warranty, but I thought something felt wrong there. I'll just throw it away. I don't got time for lifetime warranties. So just buy a new one. It's only freaking 80 bucks. Just sell some more stuff in life or Work a couple extra hours, I don't know. This one feels better. The ring looks okay. I, I do think I'll probably put a quick disconnect on here just so we can swap. So this is the water nozzle for watering plants. <clears throat> yeah. There we go. I don't like the backflow thingy, the valve. Cause then it tends to make a mess. See, it'll spew out there. I don't like that. That's good. Nice. And then the battle of yelling at Michelle and the kids for messing it up begins. Luckily, this is professional grade, which means it can withstand wives and children. But doesn't that look pretty? I think so. It's a good height, I like that height. It's like my little wall of technology here with all this, uh, all this plumbing business going on. I like it. That's good.